Could the world be a step closer to beating COVID-19? A potential vaccine being trialled by researchers here in Oxford, now showing early signs that it's both safe and triggers a dual immune response. Pretty well everybody responded in the way that we hoped they would, triggering both arms of the immune response, not just neutralising antibodies, which other vaccines induce as well, but also cellular immunity. So that's very good to see and encouraging that this vaccine hopefully will work. Researchers began testing the vaccine in April in around 1,000 people. The Viney family, who live near Oxford, among them. Katie, Tony and their daughter Rhiannon all volunteered for the trials. News that the vaccine could work is a source of pride. It's really positive knowing that the findings are, are looking good and it's great to know that we took part in something that could possibly cause the end of coronavirus. I'm really excited. I just think that this is the start, hopefully, of us going back to normal. And, and when, when we did the trial, the people that we spoke to all seemed to be really positive about it. Showing an immune response is not enough, though. Scientists in Oxford now need to establish whether their vaccine provides protection and for how long. Trials will expand in the UK, but with low coronavirus levels, other countries will also take part to help prove the effectiveness. There could also be challenge trials, controversial research in which people are deliberately infected with COVID-19 after being vaccinated. Tony Viney says he would volunteer. I think it's a calculated risk. There's nobody in the world that hasn't been affected by coronavirus. So, you know, if I can be any small part to helping with the cure for it, then, then great. The potential vaccine here in Oxford is one of many being developed around the world right now. And while research may be happening at lightning speed, there are still many hurdles ahead. No guarantee that an actual vaccine will come out of the other end. All the while, the coronavirus refuses to release its grip on the globe. Damon Embling, Euronews, Oxford.